Hogan on second down. Christian McCaffrey, the freshman, right down the middle. Touchdown. And they're going to pitch. Let McCaffrey run. He may go. Hogan up the seam. Spinning free. There goes Christian McCaffrey. What a bright future awaits Christian McCaffrey. Anytime he's in the game, you have to pay attention to him. I feel like a lot of our conversation last year on Saturdays, whenever Stanford was playing, I think our guys typically said, Christian McCaffrey, why doesn't he have the ball more often? The running back joins us here coming off his freshman campaign. Christian, appreciate you stopping by with us here on Football Weekly. I want to start with the story that I heard about you last year. David Shaw said this has never happened before, but before practices kicked up, uh, a lot of the upperclassmen went to him and said, hey, coach, I can't wait for you to see Christian McCaffrey go out there and actually practice. The unofficial workouts you were having with some of those guys apparently were pretty impressive. What is it about what you do in those practices and workouts that got that attention? Well, I think it's just a multitude of different things. Uh, all my life I was taught uh, to, to do, do one step more than everybody else. And I think, um, you know, as soon as I got here, I knew I wanted to play as a freshman I, and I knew what I had to do. Uh, as far as work and that's just continue to c come in with a good attitude not say too much but but do everything that the coaches ask you do everything that the upperclassmen ask you to do and just show up with a great attitude and I just tried to do that every single day it feels like your workload and your touches increased as the season went on do you feel like heading into your sophomore season that maybe the the chains are off you right now and David Shaw is going to kind of let you go wild um you, you know you know I don't know we'll we'll, we'll see I think uh, that's that's a decision for coach Shaw to make um, it would be awesome uh, if that was the case, but I think we, we have such a talented group of people. I think the chains are released on a lot of guys. I think there's a, there's a lot of players on our team who, who have so much potential and who, who, who didn't have a whole light shine on them last year, but I know are going to step up big time this year. Well, it was fun watching you last year because of the versatility that you showed on the field. So if I said to you, it seems like running back seems like a, more of your natural position, but you are doing a little bit of everything uh, when it comes to, you know, even playing a little wide receiver, special teams. What do you enjoy the most? Um, anytime I can get in space, so whether that's on, uh, on some sweeps or, uh, you know, breaking free from the middle. But honestly, uh, I think our, our offense can be so versatile. I really like it all. Um, you know, I've, I've always heard the saying, the more versatile you can be, the better. Um, and so anytime I can be put in multiple uh, in, in different situations, I think it's better and uh, it gives me a lot to work on as well. The last few years watching Stanford football, specifically on offense, we're used to seeing that workhorse running back coming out of the backfield. And yet last year it looked like it was by and large, mostly by committee. What have you done this offseason to try to solidify yourself as David Shaw's guy? Uh, I, I've worked on everything, all the specifics of the game, but uh, one thing that I really tried to work on was developing my upper body a little bit more. Uh, I put on, put on some weight um, just because, you know, the, the more you can weigh uh, while maintaining speed, the better back you can be. Um, but I just continue to work on all the specifics of the game, uh, all the fundamentals, uh, footwork, pass protection, vision, uh, studying the playbook more and more each day. Um, and so I think, you know, just, just focusing and hindering in on all the specifics uh, of the running back position, uh, specifically in our offense, is a lot of the stuff that I've been doing every day to improve. You know, we weren't exactly sure about Kevin Hogan coming into this season, if he was going to be with this program. He's decided to, to remain with the Stanford Cardinal and play football this upcoming year. Knowing some of the losses you guys have had, not only on offense, but on defense, how important is it to have your quarterback in place, knowing the experience that he has had these last few seasons? It's extremely important. Uh, he, 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 you know, he's coming back as a captain. Uh, he'll, he'll definitely be another captain this year. Um, but just his leadership and, and his mentality going in, we feel so comfortable, especially how we ended the season last year on, on a high note. That's definitely carried in. And a lot of that has to do with him and his performance toward the end of the season last year. Um, I'm just extremely excited to, to watch him play and to play next to him. I know on a personal level for you, you've been around the game of football your entire life. Your dad, I, I saw an interesting uh, comment from him. He says he gets more nervous to watch you play than he was actually getting ready to go and play in a Super Bowl. Isn't that a weird sort of dynamic in your mind, knowing that it's a Super Bowl and yet he gets more nervous to watch you? It's always weird, um, you know, looking back, thinking he played in some of the biggest games ever, yet he gets more nervous for me. But, um, you know, he keeps telling me that he had, he had control in those games and he doesn't have control of me. Um, and so I guess... <laughs> That's the same watching my younger brothers or older brothers. I, I catch myself getting a little bit nervous sometimes. Uh, that's just part, part, of, part of the game of football, um, you know, as, as far as the comfort level goes. How, how does mom handle seeing you on the football field? You know, uh, <laughs> she, she says she's fine, but um, the people around her 
always have something to say about her after. So I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if she's lying to me or what. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem to have fingernails after the game either. Uh, I think that's just because she gets even more nervous than anyone out there. Because your dad played, is the advice that he gives you, I'm, I'm sure it's, it's unique because of his experiences, but what does he tell you? How frequent are the conversations about your game? Is it, are you calling him? Is he calling you after games, after practices? Are you guys bouncing back, back and forth? The only time we really even talk about uh, the specifics of the game is if I call him and have a question for him or ask him about one of his experiences. But we have such great coaches that he doesn't need, really need to do any coaching, uh, you know, for me or, or any of my brothers, um, which is which has been awesome, especially growing up. Uh, he, he really let me develop my own game, and he'll point out something here and there if he sees something. But really, he leaves it up to the coaches. Uh, Christian, we cannot wait to see you on the football field this upcoming season. The Cardinal and White game on Saturday here on the Pac-12 Networks. Wish you nothing but the best of luck and looking forward to talking to you real soon. Thank you very much. Appreciate you having me.